Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 24th of April, the local media headlines today. And with elections underway to decide who should run Cornwall Council and indeed the whole of the country, it's been a weekend heavy on political news. Cornwall Reports sheds new light on the continuing controversy over plans to cut £264 million from local health services. The Royal Cornwall Hospitals Trust has provided a freedom of information answer which will confirm the worst fears of politicians who are on your doorstep looking for votes. The Trust says the work of the Sustainability and Transformation Plan, which is drawing up a vision of a dramatically slimmed down local health service, will not be influenced in any way by the current elections. Another political story from the weekend was Jeremy Corbyn's announcement that Labour would introduce four new bank holidays across the UK. It's not clear where this leaves his earlier promise to introduce a new bank holiday on St Piran's Day. Unless he's changed his policy, it means people in Cornwall would have two bank holidays in the same week if Labour wins the general election. And the former Liberal Democrat leader Paddy Ashdown was perhaps also less than helpful to his own side with his observation that Cornwall Council's bid to make Truro a European Union capital of culture could well be a waste of money. And that EU culture gamble also makes the news on Cornwall Live, where a sharp-eyed reporter has spotted something on Cornwall Council's website that shouldn't have been there. It turns out that the job of administering the culture bid is being advertised at a pro rata salary of £50,000 a year. Apparently, the post was meant to be for internal applicants only. Radio Cornwall's top story today is about recruiting more graduates into children's social work. The station says there's a national shortage of trainees. The Cornish Times reports how gorse fires on Bodmin Moor have been keeping firefighters busy. And the Buden Stratton Post tells us how the local music society enjoyed a performance by the Dante String Quartet. And those are the local media headlines today. Thanks very much for watching. See you again tomorrow. Bye bye.